be on the health hit list, but are they all created equally? So back with the great carb debate is Dr. Joey, and I can talk carbs all day long, really. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't like carbs, Who doesn't right? like carbs? So there are some that we maybe should be consuming more and others that we want to consume uh, less. So let's talk about the carb and what we're looking yes. at here. So carbs are sugar molecules, right. and this is a key concept. A sugar molecule enters your bloodstream. There's a, there's a, um, a ranking called the glycemic index. Mm -hmm. Now it has numbers associated with it. The higher the number, it's a fast car. It zooms into your bloodstream. Oh. And so when it zooms into your bloodstream, what goes up must come down. Mm -hmm. If you eat those fast, high glycemic index carbohydrates too much, yeah. you will gain weight. Right. So your body wants a slow carb. It wants a slow car. It just wants to trickle into your bloodstream. Yes. And when you do that, you have sustained energy, you feel good, and you don't gain weight. So the glycemic index is what we're gonna talk about today. It is the impact on, on your blood sugar. Right. So, but it's tricky because it's not a measurement of health, which we're about to see. Mm -hmm. So anything that is about a 70-ish, that's too high. Got it. Anything that's like a 30 or 40 ranking, Thumbs, two thumbs up for that. Because it's going to take a slow time going through your system. It's going to keep you steady. And the Dr. Schulman method is a lot about your hormonal balance, your blood sugar being even. Right. And if right? I were to give you a piece of white bread, for example, yeah. and I threw what I, well, I throw what I call PFF, protein, fat, or fiber, on top of that white bread, yes. I've just put a break on the white bread. You slowed it down. I slowed it, I slowed it down. You just got okay. I slowed it down. And that is, I'm all about blood sugar control. Yes. And that's how I'm getting people to lose the weight naturally got it so, yeah okay you see that was so good you yeah. should be a teacher I can see, I can see you just got see, it. <laughs> the light bulb went exactly. off exactly okay so that's the difference between a fast carb and a slow carb what are the health issues that can be associated with having too much of the fast carb we know weight gain anything else weight gain diabetes uh, heart disease mm fatigue, a food fog. So yeah. remember what goes up must come down. When you have that crash at 3 and 4 p.m., mm -hmm. that's not a coincidence. I want you to reflect on what you just ate. So if you eat something and it makes you tired, you've either had too many high glycemic index carbohydrates mm -hmm. or you've eaten too much and your body's working very hard to digest it. Or you might have a food sensitivity, but that's a whole other show. Totally. And we so, will we will dedicate we'll some time to that a little bit later. Um, does it say on packaging what the glycemic index no, of the food is? It does not. So we sort of have to have this lexicon in our head and, and generally know um, which ones to stay away from and which ones are going to be slow moving through our system. And it's very easy. I'm actually going to post a glycemic index list on our website, oh, on the good. website, so people can get ideas of what's good, what's... It, it actually goes slow, medium, fast. Yeah. So if I could get people to stick to slow and medium and the fast is just for when you're at a party or when you're yeah. having fun, that is ideal. Okay, I yeah. like that idea. Um, we do need grains in our diet though, don't we? Do we? We do. Do we? we? Do. Well, that, it's, I mean, yes, we do. We do. People we do. love grains in their diet. So I'm yeah. about eating healthy whole grains, um, minimal grains. I don't think we need tons and tons of grains, but if yeah. you're having high fiber, if you're having whole grains, if you're having things like quinoa or brown rice, yeah. certainly kids need them. As we get older, we need less grains in my opinion, especially in the evening. So if you wanna have your grains at breakfast or at lunch, fantastic. Mm -hmm. But as the light goes down, your metabolism slows down a little bit. So we don't want heavy, heavy grains at that time. We want low glycemic index carbohydrates. It's the same information getting repeated again and again to us throughout the entire show. But I right. think that we can't hear it enough. The light, the sun goes down, no more food. The sun goes down, no, <laughs> no more, more. And no more grains. And, and no that's more the grains. the opposite. When your nerves are shot or you're tired at night and Netflix is on, you want to eat. You want to eat. Yeah, we try not to do that. Okay, well, let's do the great carb debate. Why okay. don't you test me? So I'm going to test you a little okay. bit here. So we have a cornflakes or a bran cereal, and okay. we have two numbers here. We have a 70 and we have a 30. So we want to be staying in the 30 range. I'm going to go for this brand based cereal being 30 and the flakes being 70. Correct. Yes. Yay! Number one. <laughs> Yay, tasty. Now, the reason is what I talked about is that PFF. This has fiber, protein, yeah. fat, fiber. So the fiber in the brand cereal lowers it. So that's fantastic. Great job. Okay, so it's just going to go through your system slower, so go for that. It trickles into your bloodstream. It is a slow car. 
It's a slow car. It's a slow car. Got it. So now, I mean, this is an obvious one, but this is a piece of white bread, mm -hmm. which if I wanted to, I could roll into a ball because mm -hmm. it's been so refined. Yeah. Or whole grain bread. Right. And so we have here 45, 71. So we're going to put the 71 with the white Correct. bread yeah. and the 45 with, is it a sprouted grain bread? It's a sprouted grain seedy bread with chia seeds. Okay. So all that means is fat, fiber, it's going to trickle into your bloodstream. So people say to me, can I eat bread and lose weight? Mm -hmm. You can. Yes, you can. Yes, yeah. yes, you can. It's just the right type of bread. And you know what? The other thing that you're going to notice with all of the things that uh, probably have a high uh, glycemic index is that they you you eat them fast. Mm -hmm. You just like, nya, nya, nya. they're chewy. You want more of it, like mm -hmm. a donut, a white bread, any of that stuff it should be a, a telltale. That's right. Has a good mouthfeel. That's right. Yeah. Um, okay, let's talk about rice. Okay, so we have white rice, brown rice. These are these ones are pretty obvious, of course. But okay, so 87 for the white rice, yeah. 50 for the brown. So not that big a difference, but it's still better. It's 87 is pretty high though. Okay. So sushi right. rice is the highest. White sticky rice is the highest. So you can get your sushi with brown rice. You can get your sushi with brown rice. Yeah, yeah. Well, don't the, be sad. Yeah, Just get it with don't brown like rice. That, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now this is an interesting one. I'm not going to tell you what the answers are here, but we have a. Four 40 and a 71. And what am I comparing here? So you're comparing, so apples and berries are in one category yeah. and watermelons in the other. What do you I'm going to put the watermelon at 71. Oh, you're doing well. Very yeah. good. Yeah. I just, I don't know. Why is that? Because of the sugar content. But this is a really important point for me to highlight. Yeah. It is not an indicator of health. So I do right. not have one client in my clinic present because they've eaten too much watermelon. Right. Nobody's gaining weight from eating too much <laughs> watermelon. So here's where you'll see my explanation when I post on the website. It is not a measurement of health. Okay. It's only speed. We're only measuring speed. Okay. So you can eat your watermelon, but things like dates, tropical fruits, they're higher glycemic index. Yeah. Lower GI fruits are berries and apples. And oranges, are, and oranges and cherries are actually the lowest. Oranges? Mm -hmm. Really? And, yeah, but cherries are 22. They're the lowest, lowest. So cherries have a ton of fiber in them? Or what is it that cherries have? Fiber and lower it's sugar. fiber. Yeah. I wouldn't have thought that they're like fabulously sweet. So I want to see if you get this one right. So here we have a 33 and an 83. I guess the pretzels are only 33. So actually, the candy filled with the peanut is 33, <gasps> and the pretzels are 83. Foiled! <laughs> but this is the 33. But the takeaway from this segment I can is eat no. No, I'm dealing with here. The takeaway <laughs> is not go home and eat peanut filled candy and lose weight. Okay. Unfortunately, I'm sorry. All right. It is because it has the peanut. So you see, it's not an indicator of health. That fat from the peanut is lowering, it's the break. Okay. So you have a bunch of sugar and fake colors, but if I put a peanut in there, it's slowing it. It slows yeah. it. So it has a low G. What do I do with that information? Just forget it. That's okay. <laughs> Should I just erase that just from my brain? That, yes. Okay. That's an email between you and I. So, <laughs> at okay. three in the morning, um, potatoes. We yeah. have the sweet potatoes versus the regular. What kind of potato is that? Like a regular? So that's an instant mashed potato. Oh, an instant mashed potato. So that'll be the 80. Exactly. And uh, the sweet potato will be the 35. 35. So yeah. sweet potatoes are fantastic. I can't can't say enough about the sweet potato. It's really good. It's so good for you. And you know what? It's so good for your kids. It's filled with fiber. It's filled with vitamin C. Yeah. And so I, the whole take home from this is if you make some simple swaps, you've lowered your blood sugar. So every decision I'm trying to help viewers make is how does it impact my blood sugar? Really good lesson yeah. there. Thank you. You're